Cloves is one of the most effective natural ingredients that can help you grow your hair. But the truth is, if you do not use it the right way, you will not get any good results out of it. Or it might even damage your hair. In today's video, I'm going to show you one amazing hair growth recipe using cloves, which will not only grow your hair, but moisturize your hair and make it really soft. When I did my Big Chop recipes like these, I've helped me grow my hair much faster and thicker. If you really want to learn how I do this, make sure you're not skipping any part of this video because it is packed with a lot of information. Without further ado, let's do this. Hello beautiful people, welcome or welcome back. So one reason why I love using clothes for my hair growth is aside its many benefits, there are so many ways that you can prepare it to maximize its benefits. And today is one of such videos. But before getting into all that, I would love for you to show your girl some love by giving this video a thumbs up. And if you're new here, do not forget to subscribe and click on the bell so each time I upload DIYs using natural ingredients that can help you boost your hair growth, you will always be notified. And when you do click on the bell, do not forget to select all so you do not miss any of my videos. So my first ingredient for today's recipe is lavender. I'm going to tell you an important reason why you should add lavender to cloves in the video. So make sure you're not skipping any part of it. Well, my next ingredient is cloves. I use the whole cloves, but feel free to use the powdered cloves. I crush my cloves before using it. Let me tell you why cloves is really powerful when it comes to hair growth. It contains antifungal, antiseptic, as well as anti-inflammatory properties, which helps treat your scalp and prevent dandruff or any scalp issues, giving way to new healthy hair growth. My next natural ingredient I'm going to use for today's recipe is the rosemary herbs. You all know rosemary has great properties when it comes to natural hair growth. Well, if you did not know about it, let me tell you about it. Rosemary can help prevent hair loss, hair fall, or hair shedding. It can also treat your scalp and improve new healthy hair growth. I'm also going to use my organic extra virgin olive oil. Olive oil has so many great properties for natural hair growth. I use about 80 ml of the olive oil and I'm also going to add some coconut oil. These two oils are my favorite because they are lightweight, they are easily absorbed into your hair strands and help to prevent hair fall. If you are someone suffering from hair breakages, you should be adding olive oil as well as coconut oil to your hair care regimen. So after adding these two oils to my two natural ingredients, I'm going to put in a pot of boiling water and allow it to sit in the water for about 10 to 15 minutes or till the oil is warm to touch. You just set it aside after that and allow it to cool down. We're going to leave it for overnight to make sure everything is infused into the oil. Our next ingredient for today's recipe is shea butter. Shea butter is really great for natural hair. It is going to moisturize your hair and is great to use as a sealant. It also contains vitamins A and E with essential fatty acids which are all great for natural hair growth. Shea butter can help prevent split ends, hair fall, any hair thinning or any issues that you might be having with your hair. It stays in your hair and keeps it moisturized. So we're going to keep it in a pot of boiling water and make sure to melt it till everything is melted. There is one important trick that I'm going to show you in today's recipe. Usually when you make your hair butters, it turns out to be really hard. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to keep your hair butters really soft at all times so make sure you're not skipping any part of this video because it is packed with a lot of information so it's been overnight and my oil is all ready so at this point i'm just going to strain it let me tell you some benefits of adding lavender to your clothes lavender has similar properties to clothes it has antiseptic and antibacterial properties and what that does is when you use it on your hair it protects your scalp from any bacterial infections this will protect your hair from dandruff dry itchy scalp or any issues that you might be having on your scalp in return it's going to help you grow new healthy hair my next thing i'm going to add is my vitamin e oil Vitamin E oil comes in so many different forms. This is the capsules, but you can also get it in the bottle form. Vitamin E oil has natural antioxidant effects, which will improve the health of your scalp. It will treat your scalp of any scalp issues and help you grow new healthy hair. Vitamin E oil can also prevent hair breakages, hair thinning, or hair fall. So if you're someone suffering with hair breakages a lot, you should be adding vitamin E oil to your hair care regimen. 
And hey y'all, if you're still watching this video to this point and you haven't given this video a thumbs up, what are you waiting for? <laughs> Show your girl some love by giving this video a thumbs up. And if you're new here, do not forget to subscribe and click on the bell. So each time I upload DIYs for hair growth like these, you will always be notified. And when you do click on the bell, do not forget to select all. I also added some pure glycerin. Glycerin acts as a deep conditioner. It's going to moisturize your hair and prevent your hair from breaking. The next thing that I'm going to add is my Jamaican black castor oil. If you're going natural hair and you do not know about this or your girl, <laughs> you're missing out on something good. Jamaican black castor oil can also boost hair growth. I'm also going to add my essential oils and my first essential oil I'm going to add is my lavender oil. We already made our own lavender oil with this recipe, but it's always good to add some essential lavender oil as well. I also added some peppermint oil. I just love how peppermint oil feels on my scalp. Aside that, I love the fragrance and also its benefits. It's going to help treat your scalp of dandruff or any issues that you have and also make your whole recipe smell really yummy. <laughs> so at this point, I just give it a quick stir and I'm going to cover it up. Why? Because I do not want any water getting into this recipe. So make sure you cover it up and I'm going to put it in the refrigerator till it's kind of halfway solidified. You do not want it to be really solid. You just want it to be a little bit, you know, <laughs> just as I have it right now. And at this point, I'm going to whip my butter away like no one's business. <laughs> and whilst we do that, I would love for you to show me some love by giving this video a thumbs up. And if you are new here, do not forget to subscribe and click on the bell. So each time I upload DIYs for hair growth using natural ingredients like these, you will be notified. On this channel, I do a lot of DIYs that can help boost your hair growth and also improve the quality of your hair. So make sure you subscribe. So the next thing I'm going to do is to put this recipe again in the boiling water till it's all melted like so. And that is the trick from preventing your batter from becoming hard. When you do it this way, you cover it again and put it in the refrigerator. So this time it becomes solidified like so. <laughs> Give it a try and let me hear from you in the comment section if you have done it this way before or if this is your first time seeing this. So we whipped this butter twice. We melted it also twice and that is the trick. I got a little busy and forgot and left this butter in the fridge more longer than usual. So it was a little more solidified than I really wanted it to be. So I had to use the spoon to mash it a little bit before whipping it. So make sure you do not leave it in the fridge for so long. You do not want it to be so hard before whipping it. Otherwise, it's just going to take you much longer time to whip this butter. <laughs> and I don't want that for you. You all know I always want the easy route for you. I go through all the hard stuff and I teach you the easy way to do all these recipes. So I'm just going to whip it and make sure everything is nice and whipped and we get the battery consistency. I just love how it's coming out. I'm going to whip it one more time to make sure everything is all nice and smooth. And if you're still watching this video to this point, I hope you're really enjoying it because I really enjoyed filming it. So show your girl some love by giving this video a thumbs up. And if you're new here, do not forget to subscribe and click on the bell. So each time I upload DIYs for hair growth like these, you will always be notified. And when you do click on the bell, do not forget to click on all. So you do not miss any of my videos. Just look at that. Look at that. It just melts on my fingers. <laughs> I just love these recipes, guys. You must give it a try and let me hear from you in the comment section below. This will moisturize your hair and keep it moisturized for a very long time. I just love it. You just need to give this a try. So after that, I'm just going to put it in my containers and I'm going to store it at room temperature. There are so many ways that you can use this hair moisturizer or hair butter. You know, when you prepare any of my natural recipes that is water-based, like the clothes water or rosemary water, you always have to go in with a moisturizer to seal in the moisture. Regardless of how effective any natural ingredient is, if you do not use it the right way, you will not get the full benefits out of it. So make sure you are always moisturizing your hair. You can also use it on your wash days. Whenever you put in your leave-in conditioner, you can go in after with this moisturizer to help your hair grow much thicker and more beautiful. 
i hope you enjoy watching this video and i know you have given this video a thumbs up and i know if you're new here you have already subscribed before you leave make sure to click on the video you see on your screen right now to watch more ways to grow your hair see you on my next video bye